Okay, uh, hello my friend, hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, I want to share you how to set up uh, the ILO reporter, a very famous reporter in automation test with the Jenkins. So for the ILO reporter, if you just trust ILO reporter, you can find this URL, you can see docsqameta.io allure. And then if you go to the installation, for example, in this case, we are going to you the allo reporter with 10 ng framework so you come here and we are using maven project so you can come here and then you can just copy this one right so as i told before this tutorial is not it's mainly focused on Jenkins. so you know basically i uh, assume that you have the knowledge about allo before i go for this tutorial okay so I just put something like, you know, the dependency here and all the stuff like they put there for uh, the course is something like uh, aspect G wherever or something like that. Because if you miss these things, something like the annotation step and so on, maybe miss the information in the report. So try to come here and then you can see we have something like this. Make sure you put it correctly in your bomb file okay so after you put it let me try to refresh the maven here <clears throat> real quick or you can do it manually on the command line as well like you do something like maven uh, clean and then test compile this enter so it will do the same thing for you so you don't need to hit the uh, you know the icon on the top right like i have just done so this just the same okay so after you have something like that uh now let's try to come back here and i want to have something like a test shoes to run this one uh let me try to put something we have that visual secure and we have a test class let me try to refactor to rename the test class like I can name something like simple test now. Oh, sorry, simple test, enter. And then now it just changed here. So this is a simple test. In simple test, we have a two test methods here. So now I want to run this test methods uh, and uh, this test class. And I just want to see whether I can generate the ALU report, okay? So the command to run, I put here just copy and then I run again. Yeah, I just want to have some the, you know, local ALU report before uh, setting up on the Jenkins. You should do the same too. You need to make sure that the local work as expected before you set up the Jenkins, okay? So now we have, let's see what is the error. So, oh yeah. I forgot to supply the page URL. So here you can see, uh, supply the page, you are, page URI. So in this case, uh, let me try to find out again. Okay, I need to start the checking for Java hyphen char and <clears throat> the location, checking. Uh, checking the chart, uh, dot word file. Just a moment. I want to get the setup, uh, the page URIs because as you remember from the previous lesson, we configured the checking to have the default URI. So I, I want to copy from there. Okay, just a moment. <clears throat> now, let's see whether it's up and running. Uh, Jenkins, okay. Run it, refresh the base again. Let's see. Yep. So we go to the Jenkins tutorial job. Then I hit on build with parameters and then I just copy this one. Now I go back to the IntelliJ here. Uh, I can use the O command and then I supply hyphen uppercase D and then the base URI equal this one.
the test is now running. <clears throat> yep. And the test path. So the next step that you need to do that you need to install the Allure command line locally. Uh, so if you come here, you see installing a command line tool. So uh, it depends on the operating system that you are on. You can select any of these um, options to install like on the Mac OS, on the Linux, or whether on the Windows. So on the Windows, they suggest up to you the script here. So you can open the script here. It's very easy. You scroll down here and then you can see just some simple step and then you can have Allure command line uh, on your machine. So now go back to the IDE and then <clears throat> what you need to do that you do something like Allure um, generate and then hyphen hyphen clean to the, clean the previous uh, data for the test and then you do something like Allure open and then it will open the Allure report for you. So in this case, we have a two tests and power of them passed, you see, but we still have something like test, nothing here because uh, maybe in the regression test here, so we can boost something like simple test. Now we have everything locally works as expected. So let me try to terminate the Allure server. And then I want to boost every single chance I have just done into the GitHub, right? So git add, uh, then git commit hyphen m with a message like update this for Allure reporter. And then I just boost off, git boost. You see, I end up with something like, I boost something related to the uh, Allure show, um, yeah. Anyway, let me try to put something here. So Allure, not report, but everything related to the Allure here. Okay, so yeah, just put it there. Uh, let me try to git add, <coughs> git commit, hyphen m, uh, update it, uh, update uh, the dot git is nor file, just enter. So now I want to do something like git check out uh, hyphen hyphen um, git is Nora, uh, not this one. Um, maybe I remember we have something like remove cache or something like that. Uh, remove cache, remove dot cache uh, hyphen R. Allure, yeah, um, no, this command is not correct. So anyway, I just want to fix that. I want to remove some Allure, Allure report here, Allure result here, but I think we can come back and do it later. Okay, anyway, we have the changes into the report three. Now just go to the changing and then we want to change this job. So, <clears throat> Before you have the configuration for the job, you come to the dashboard checking and on the left, you see many checkings. So if you click here and then you just wait a little, you go to global to configuration here, you see, and then it's you load the configuration. So if you scroll down like before, we have a Maven before you remember. So now we need to install something like Alua command line here. So it will not show up for you if you uh, didn't install the Allure plugin, so just come back here. Uh, we need to go to the menu checking again, and uh, again, sorry for any background noise around. So you go to the menu uh, plugins, uh, and then you show something like Allure, okay? So I already installed the Allure, so I have it here. You see Allure checking plugin, but for you, you go to avail uh, available, you search for Allure, and then you install for Allure checking plugin. Now, uh, at that time, if you go back to many changes and then you go to global tool configuration here, you scroll into the bottom, you can see something like Allure command line here. So it's very easy. You click for Allure command line tool here, and then you don't need to specify anything. Just select like install automatically. You put a name here, 
again, you can put any name, but as best practice, you need to put Alu here, and then you can easily recognize easy for Alu command line tool, okay? And then you select the latest version. In this case, I selected uh, the version 2.15 here, and then I just uh, choose the source from the Maven Center, and then you hit apply and save, okay? So for me, I already have that, so I didn't do it. Now you go back to the changing chart here. You click on the configure here. And then you click on post view action here, you see. So in post view action here, you see post view action. You click here and then you ask the Allure report. You see this one? The Allure report here, you select this one, okay? So in this one is to ask for you for the path so in this case, you remember we have something like, let me try to scroll up. Like everything's from the main here. So the syntax will be the same for this one. Everything's from the root folder here and then go to the uh, Allure result. So this is the Allure result folder. How can you know that? So if you come back to your shortcut, you see, this is from your shortcut. And then you go to Allure result folder, not Allure report, okay? So everything, from your main directory, the root directory here. So you need to put something like star slash here and the allo result is very important to remember, okay? You apply and then you save. Now you go back here, you see something like we have the allo report here, but if you click, we don't have anything because we didn't run the test uh, after the change, right? So now you run view with parameter here. I just put the page UI, a uh, page, UI is at default and then I hit the view button here. So here the view is now initialized and then it's running here. <clears throat> so you can see we have something like uh, where's the commit message here. You see update is for Alu reporter and something's failed here, but I think it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now the test is but here you see the view success and then we have the part view action like alu report was successfully generated and then it's creating artifacts for the view and then everything else so on right so probably here if you come to the job here you will see here we have a new icon here for alu report right so you can click here to open the alu report for that job so you see the same but the URL is now different because it's now on changing. So it's open and then we can see something like simple test here. We have a two test methods inside this path and this path. Okay, so that's it. This is the ways we configure the changing. So I have a note here. Let me try to bring it up. So you need to add the Allure dependency into the form file. And then you just go to Allure framework report base. And then you just copy the form file uh contents and then you put into your bomb file okay and then you install the allo command line locally to then you run uh, the tag locally first to make sure that everything is so okay before you push in your code and then you go to the uh jenkins right so after you go to the jenkins you need to install the plugin for allure uh jenkins reporter and then you go to the configuration to add the allure command line uh, there in for, for, for the Jenkins, right? Now, then you can fit Allure for the Jenkins job. I go to the Jenkins job and then you do what? You go to the parse view action and then you just add the Allure. Uh, then you can run the job like before. Now, after you run the job, you can see the Allure report here. So try to have the Allure report integrated with your Jenkins job. Bye for now and see you in the next lesson.